Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the video footage captured on a neighbor surveillance camera in the case of missing Gannon Stouck out of Colorado Springs, Colorado. As you probably know if you're watching this, 11-year-old Gannon Stouck went missing last Monday, January 27th, and was last seen by his stepmother. She claims that Gannon went to visit a friend between 3 and 4 in the afternoon on Monday and never returned home. A neighbor has video footage of Gannon's home at the time of his stepmother says that he left the home and says it contradicts her story about what happened. KRDO.com has released the neighbor's video footage from that day, even though the sheriff's department asked that it not be shared so that it would not compromise the search for Gannon. According to the neighbor, he said that the footage shows Gannon getting into a truck with his stepmother and leaving the home. He says the same truck then returns a few hours later and the stepmother gets out, but Gannon is nowhere to be found. I found the footage difficult to make out, but if you study it closely, it does look like two people get into the truck before it leaves their home. Tom Mustin from Denver 7 News says that he spoke with the neighbor about his surveillance footage. He says the neighbor told him that when he showed Gannon's father the footage of the two leaving in the truck, Gannon's dad broke down crying and said, I knew it, I knew she was lying. He said Gannon's father then called detectives. The neighbor said he showed detectives the footage on Sunday, and on Monday the crime lab showed up and was there processing evidence for hours. He said he even saw Gannon outside playing on the day of his disappearance. So, now we know that Gannon never left to go to a friend's house at all, and his stepmother lied. But if that's the case, and she is in the video footage taking Gannon from the home and returning without him, then why hasn't she been arrested? I haven't seen any news reports saying that she's been arrested yet unless I'm missing something. Is it because there's no proof that she hurt him at all, and all she did was lie about what happened that day? If she took him somewhere, then shouldn't they arrest her to try to get the truth out of her about where she took him? I don't know. Maybe I'm confused. But if it's her taking him away in the truck and returning without him in the video footage, then I would think that we would hear that she's been arrested by now. I know the police know what they're doing, but my God, this child may be in danger and his family is suffering. So far, the police don't seem to be discussing the video much other than to say that it's part of their investigation. But I thought they told the neighbor that it was the break that they needed. I'm just frustrated. I want them to find him safe like now. I will include links to the surveillance video so you can watch it for yourself and see if you can make it out a little better than I did. I will also include other links to the news and the updated press conference given today from the El Paso County Sheriff's Department. Please continue praying for Gannon's safe return. I will post any updates I hear on the story as I get them. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you on my next video.